the brand new update of Fortnite didn't only bring tilted towers, it also brought some brand new villains from the Spider-Man universe, including the Green Goblin skin. Now guys, before we hop into it, if you are hoping for no school next week, wouldn't that be amazing? Just a relaxing week to play some Fortnite. Leave a like on the video, but be fast. But yes, guys, we're going to be talking about how to get the Green Goblin skin, as well as a bunch of other items we can unlock and secret challenges, and even some fun glitches mixed in that have to do with the Spider-Man mythic. Now, speaking of which, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. It only takes a second. And also make sure you are using my supporter creator code SIRS inside of the Fortnite item shop. Oh, and can't forget about the skin on last video. It was Storm. So here's a ton of people that got that right. And this time around, let's go with this skin. So comment down below if you know the name of it. And I'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right. Now, guys, Fortnite added another secret challenge during this update that actually is a really easy challenge to complete. So in order to actually do this one, we're going to need to go down to, I think it's in this area that I actually haven't gone through yet. How have I not gone through this area? It's either right here or maybe at this island. It's one of those two. Okay, wait, no, now I see it's not at the island. It's next to it at this building. As you can see, there's an NPC that spawns here. I'm not sure if this NPC is brand new during this update. However, they do sell the brand new item if we go and talk to Haven. What's up, Haven? How's it going? you can see that she sells clomberries for only 25 gold. And the secret challenge actually has to do with these. Now you can only buy four at a time. So it's uh, not the most clomberries in the world, but we are going to need to use those for the secret challenge here. Now also with that, if you go over to this spot right here, there's even more that we can grab from these plants. We're already up to 10 clomberries. And then there's another three plants over here. That's going to be six more. How many can we carry in our inventory? 15. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we do want to carry every single one of them. Come here, chicken. You're going to help me. Now that we have all of these, we're going to head on over to Clombo, which we saw. Oh, there he is. What's up, Clombo? Hold on a second, guys. Wait, is Clombo interested in eating chickens? I'm not sure what would happen. All right, Clombo, here's a chicken. Do you want to eat it? All right, he's walking forward. The chicken is not phased whatsoever. Nope, he's not interested. <laughs> Anyways, the challenge here, we want to... Oh, I didn't mean to eat one of those. We want to throw a bunch of these clomberries. I keep eating them by accident. No. If we throw them in front of him, obviously he will eat the clomberries, but that is part of the challenge. There we go. He just ate a couple. Might need him to eat a couple more. So there you go, Clombo. And yes, we got the challenge. Feed clomberries to Clombo. We got 8,000 XP. However, guys, that's actually a milestone challenge. So if we go into our quests here into the milestones, this new one was added during this update. Feed clomberries to a Clombo for every Every five you give him, you get 8,000 XP, which is quite a bit because we picked up like 15. So if we just throw all of these in front of him, we will get XP. And just like that, we got another 8,000. Oh my gosh, the chicken just ran into Clombo. Now let's see, I just have a couple more berries. Will that be enough? I think I've fed him berries before. Nope, okay. Either way though, guys, that challenge goes on for quite a few times, as you can see right here. So you can repeat it for a ton of XP and level up incredibly fast. Now guys, before we talk about the Green Goblin skin and stuff related to that, we also got some other bonus items that we're going to be able to unlock soon. Like just hopping right into it here, we're going to be able to get the brand new Soundwave series spray. According to iFireMonkey, there is actually going to be a challenge added in soon that has us collect a concert coin. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that concert coin is, but as you can see, when you collect it, you will get both the spray and 55,000 XP. Or sorry, if you collect two coins, you'll get 55,000 XP. So there's going to be multiple. But hold on, hold on. Take a step back. What are these coins and how do we get them? Well, according to Fortnite, these are for the Soundwave series, which will start out with Tones and I, a music artist that sang the song Dance Monkey, which you may also know from the emote that was released in the item shop yesterday. It's a pretty all right emote, nothing too crazy. But yeah, apparently there's going to be a creative map. They even gave us the code, but when I tried it, it didn't bring me to any map as of right now because it's not going to launch until, well, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. But apparently once we get into that map and watch the show that's going to go on inside of it, 
it, we'll be able to get the spray. And then if we watch it a second time, we'll be able to get the experience, which is 55,000 experience. Overall, it sounds pretty cool and a fun way to get a spray. Now guys, apparently there's a brand new glitch with the Spider-Man Mythics. That's actually pretty funny and I gotta show it to you right here. So let's hop into a battle lab match just to keep it simple. And then obviously we gotta go down and find a Spider-Man Mythic. Here we go, should be one right over in this location. Oh, yep, there's one right there. <laughs> and actually guys, a bonus trick. For those of you that didn't know, you can actually just shoot these and they drop the Mythic. You don't have to build up to them and actually open them up. I just found out about that recently and oh my goodness, I wish I knew about it sooner. But on top of that, recently in this update, they also updated the Mythics so that you can pick up or carry multiple at the same time. Before you could only carry one, but now obviously we can carry as many as will fit in our inventory. There's even a third one right over here. So if we pick that up, we now have three in our inventory. <laughs> However, that's not the glitch I want to show you. The glitch works basically by if you go over to any area and then use the web shooters while switching to your pickaxe, it takes a bit of practice to get right. But if you press them like at the same time, as you can see, it keeps the web, but we're not actually swinging anywhere. So if we like run around, this web will literally follow us. But guys, it gets even crazier because you can repeat that process. Again, press them at basically the same time and you can just multiply these. There's a third one. There's a fourth one, five, six, seven. <laughs> and like, check this out already. Oh my gosh. But you know what we got to do, guys. How far can we take this glitch? Oh my gosh, guys, this is getting crazy. <laughs> what is happening? Bro, what? What is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all these. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that is not how the Spider-Man mythic is supposed to look. But then like, we can also just keep on swinging with these and they won't disappear. Wow, we can literally go like across the map and these will still, oh, nope, now they disappeared. Okay, you can't go across the map, but you can go pretty far. Whoa, wait, what the, what is happening, guys? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I just did there. It like automatically used a bunch of them. And then let's talk about the Green Goblin skin. That's right, guys, Green Goblin is coming into Fortnite. We knew this was going to happen, judging by how Fortnite sort of hinted towards it inside of the Daily Bugle location with that one picture. However, we now have official leaks of the skin. So like first things first, just taking a look at it. This is what the skin looks like and it is pretty cool. He wears like this really unique armor that's honestly a bit scary, but overall it's a very cool skin. Not only that, here is the back bling, which is like a pumpkin bomb. I'm still hoping we get that as an item on the map. That would be incredible. But yeah, pretty solid right there. There's also a pickaxe that goes with this skin, which is a similar thing. Kind of looks like the back bling, but is modeled into a pickaxe. I like it. I like it. And on top of that, there is even an emote that I'm not sure if it's a built-in emote, but as you can see, he basically pulls out one of the pumpkin bombs and it flies around him. Oh, and there's also supposed to be a glider, which we actually got to see in the either loading screen or item shop image. This is probably a loading screen that comes with the bundle, but you can see him riding the glider right there. So it's one that you actually ride on top of, which is pretty dang cool. Now, with that being said, guys, this is seemingly going to be added into the item shop. However, it is entirely possible that we may be able to unlock this through a new tournament. As you guys know, in the past, they've released special tournament rewards when certain new skins come into the item shop and the Green Goblin being like one of the first of the Spider-Man universe to get into the game. It would make sense that we see a tournament for it as well. So we'll wait and see about that. But either way, the skin itself is awesome. And then on top of that, I also wanted to add in some bonus items. Like for example, we got this spray right here, which I really have no idea what it is for. I don't even know how to pronounce the name of it, but it's a very unique one, especially since there is also an emoji that goes hand in hand with it. Similarly, there's also another spray, which is the Hey Stand spray. And that too has an emoji that goes with it. Oh, and there's even a third one, which is this right here. And it too comes with an emoji. So like, what are all of these sprays? We're obviously going to be able to unlock them in some way, but as of right now, they're kind of a mystery. Now, next up guys, I wanna show you a secret spot that you should maybe try dropping at because it's honestly super good. In fact, it's right off the start of the battle bus right here. The lighthouse actually has a secret that you guys should know about. Now, starting out, if you land at the very top, there is a chest which you can grab, but that's not the secret in this location. You can also drop down the middle, which is uh, not the best idea, <laughs> but there is a chest at the very bottom, which I guess helps. However, what you do wanna check out is that there is one, a quad crasher here to help you move on to the other locations, but mainly I'm focused on this slurp 
burp truck right here. It has returned from the chapter two map and it is amazing. Basically, if you step on top of it and then break it, it's a little bit odd. You like float around. But yeah, if you break it, you will get 100 HP, which if we hadn't lost a bunch of HP, we would have been at full health and shields right now. There's also a chest right there. But either way, with all of that stuff together, it's honestly a super good spot. And speaking of secret spots, another just kind of random thing I want to show you is actually over in the desert, specifically at, I think it's right here. Yeah, right at that spot. Now, the reason I wanted to go over here, actually, one, there is a quad crasher that spawns up there that's kind of secret, but I found out about this hidden diving board recently. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was not according to plan. Why did I slide right there? But yeah, if we hop on back up here, there's this secret diving board that's just kind of out of place. But it's funny that Epic Games put it here because you can bounce on it and just barely make it into the water below. So again, it's just kind of a fun little Easter egg that you might not know about. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. On top of that, be sure to check out some of my previous videos. They're right here on the screen, such as going over a new mythic weapon. Definitely check that out. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.